Hello everyone, Grant from Forehead here. I'm the new Bets in the Boulevard. Today, I'm not doing any new episode. Today, I'm doing a review, a movie review. Something that I haven't done in a while. I've only maybe done maybe two movie reviews in my entire channel history, I think. But today, I'm reviewing Million Dollar Arm, starring John Hamm as well as Phil Paxton, and I think one of the guys from Some Dog Millionaire. This film is a sports movie. It's based off of a true story that actually happened back in 2008, where some, like, some, uh, it's basically, the story goes, John Hamm is a sports agent who's trying his best to find some really good people he can, not, like, I guess, sponsor or whatever, like, be their talent agent, I guess. I'm not sure how to really describe it, but he's running it with a few people, I believe it's his business partner, and his business partner likes cricket a lot. So what they do is, because they're looking for people to play baseball, because they really need some talent for this company that they're trying to run, and what they do is they go, uh, he goes to his house, he watches cricket with his friend, and he's kind of like thinking, nah, this won't be a good idea for the MLB, but what he does is he goes back to it, and he actually goes to India, and goes like he goes there after he gets an investor to um, who's played by Z Ma. I'm sorry if I'm twitching a lot or doing something like that. My allergies. Are really but what he does is he goes to India and gets the, he does something called the Million Dollar Arm, hence the name of the movie. So what he does is he goes through many places in India. He goes through like Goa, Mumbai, New Delhi. In many of those places, even this is the Taj Mahal, to find cricket players, to uh, well, just people that want to make it in the major leagues if they know how to play cricket. And two guys out of nowhere, well, I'm wrong, three. One's their kind of translator slash coach, who says he'll work for free with John Hamm to find these guys and kind of work with them. And these two other guys, one's a driver, I guess, a young kid who's working for his dad, working with his dad because his dad's, like, like, hurt his back. And the other one's a track and field player who actually wants to do this. Like, he actually, they both want to make it out of India and make it big in the major leagues. So what they do is they, they both are pretty wild with their throws and whatnot in the game. Well, not in the game, but in the movie. And they actually do pretty well, I think. This movie, like, is amazing, like, in the end, but what they do is, like, they impress them quite well, because they are both able to, like, throw the ball faster than 80 miles an hour, which they needed to do for Major League Baseball standards, and what they do is also, after the fact, um, they go to L.A., well, they go to California, and live with him while training at USC, and their coach that's actually training them is played by Bill Paxton who's a coach in the film for the USC Trojans baseball team. He actually is able to try and find a way to get these guys motivated enough, and actually, it's almost like, honestly, if I was to compare this film, this would be, like, maybe radio, the film radio, as well as, um, Slapshot, and, um, uh, Slum I would actually have to say, it's like Slumdog Millionaire meets Slapshot and radio. Because it is based off of a true story. Slapshot wasn't. I think radio was. I can't remember. But I just know it was. It's amazing. And it's two thumbs way up. This is something that if you guys can go see, go ahead and see it right now in theaters. It just came out yesterday on May 16th. But this is like it's two thumbs way up. It's something that I definitely think you guys should actually go check out. If you can, go ahead and check it out. If not, wait for it to come out on DVD. Just at least go ahead and check it out. Sorry about that. That was, giving, that was bothering me a little bit. But these guys kind of find out that the guy is not really... He's, kinda cons he's not really concerned about him, but he's more or less putting his job first. Which, there go, kind of happens. But, like... He's only trying to do it just so he can be able to get like that big break as a talent agent, sports agent, I guess, sports talent agent, whatever it is his visit is off his occupation is. All I know he's trying his best, and these guys are too. This is actually a really hard, 
or excuse me, heartwarming story. I definitely recommend it. It's two thumbs way up. Um, what else is there to say? This is actually pretty darn good. I didn't know what I was gonna get from it. I didn't know what to expect, and I got something that is just out of the ballpark, literally, because of how heartfelt this actually feels to me. This kind of feel, it's not like I, it hits home or anything like that for me, but it hits hard enough that if this was a actual baseball game or a movie, well not movie, but I mean like if this was a game of baseball, this would be like the pitch that Barry Bonds would hit, and it would be just, it would be out of boss. It would be half, it would be halfway to Arizona. This is how good of a film it is. That's how good I think it is. And, honestly, this is something that, if you can go see, go ahead and see, like I said. But, if you don't, if you don't know if you really want to go see it, because you're not really someone that likes sports movies, or you're not really one that likes based on a true story kind of films, then don't go see it. If you don't want to go see it, don't see it. I'm just a simple person that vlogs and does whatever on his own. If you don't want to listen to me, then don't listen to me. You don't have to. All you have to know is that this film is fantastic. It's fantastic shit. Sorry if you don't know German, but it's fantastic. It's just completely fantastic. I don't know what else to say, but it's just... It's one of those films that... When you see it, you know you want more. You might want to see it again and again, if it's that, if you think of it being that good. This is something that, if you can go see, go see it, like I said. If you can't, or you don't want to, then whatever. It's your choice. You have free will. But yeah, I better end this quickly. I know I'm going to try and do, I might try and do a few videos later in June. And the next thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do something, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing in July, but I know in August, on the 15th, I think, and the 22nd, I'm going to go see Expendables 2 and Sin, oh no, not Expendables 2, Expendables 3 and Sin City 2, A Day in the Kill 4. So, I might be going to see those films, and if I do, I'll make a review, but I won't make it the same day, because I definitely think I'm going to go try and watch the midnight release of those ones, maybe, or all the late night catch. And I, I definitely think they're going to be pretty packed. But yeah, this is me, Grant Joseph Forehead, signing out. I hope you all have a wonderful long weekend, if it is a long weekend for you. If it's not, then enjoy the weekend. Peace out.